Hello. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the RASP Android app directly uh, from the website. Simply go to apps.rasp.tv. Keep in mind, you will have to have permission set on your Android device, whether it be a set-top box, whether it be a cell phone, a tablet, the permissions to enable the installation of third-party apps, which means not from Google Play, has to be enabled. If uh, you're having trouble with that, you might want to refer uh, to Google or YouTube or any other um, instructionals on how to unlock your device to allow for that. Or you can refer back to uh, our other tutorials and use File Linked, which is uh, simply another app you can use to install RASP. So let's get to it. Apps.rasp.tv. Very straightforward. You click the link. Okay. And you're going to let it download. Very simple. And go ahead and click install. Very simple. You can open it up. Now, on first run, you're going to get a login screen. You're going to be using the information given to you on the member area of the website. So your member area will have your login information to access the channels, not only with the uh, Android app, but also if you choose to use the web TV player. So if you are logging in to watch from a web browser, or say your work computer or whatever the, the case may be, you will need that information of your own to be able to log in. And uh, moving forward, this is uh, your front screen, very quick tour. Um, on the bottom left here, you can see that, um, well, my account obviously doesn't expire, but it'll tell you there when your uh, time is up. And you can also see your status and expiry date under the account information on the top here. Uh, in settings, um, one thing I'll quickly mention is you might want to just uncheck auto start on boot up if you don't want this thing starting up every time. Go ahead and save. Uh, you can uh, play around with settings, although not really necessary. The only thing you might want to do is set a, a passcode if you want to keep the kids out, but that's about it. So if you have any recordings, um, if you've recorded shows, you can find them here. Uh, if you want to uh, go into movies or series, uh, these are not the live selections. Um, so at the time of this filming, not everything's totally up yet, but that's uh, being steadily worked on. Uh, basically, any selection made you can play here. If we go back and we want to watch live TV, you got a couple of options. One is the on-screen channel guide, or EPG. And when you click on that, you can either choose to see all the channels, or you can choose to see specific lists on the on-screen channel guide, such as the US here. If you have not ever seen an on-chain channel guide, then I'm not sure why you're watching this video, but this part's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can just simply select any channels here and play them. If we back out, the channel will continue to play on the top left so that you can keep kind of scrolling through here. Always a commercial. If you don't want to use the channel guide, you also have the option just to go to play an old live TV. Same idea. It's going to ask you, do you want to view all the channels or do you want to break it into specific lists? You can go right to whatever you choose. And for anything um, that has an uh, EPG data, it'll show up just underneath the video here. Simply click on it to expand full screen or hit your back button to go back. Very self-explanatory. And there we have it. Uh, like I said, you will need permissions on your device to install third-party apps. Um, that will, on some cases, uh, especially phones, that'll take a little bit of Googling. Basically, that'll involve um, developer options and allowing for apps that don't come from the Google Play Store to be installed. Other than that, um, there's not much to it. It installs just like any other app. Have a good day. Peace.